Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, my dear <coughs> friends. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the kids love our show. Well, all, I can see them all yep. sitting in front of the yep. TV. They yeah. cluster around yep. the TV. Oh, those guys are on again today. Oh, the weird oh, old guys are on again. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Dwayne, the, uh, the report is on the air. And I'm here with my friend Dwayne Weiss. And uh, we'll kick it off with, uh, I've got a lot of puzzling things that are bothering me today. Uh, not the least of which is I bonked my head again. I see the, the spot there on top the of the head. The spot between, at the Federated Church, between the kitchen and the dining room, you know, the window. Yeah. I walk into that every bloody time I'm up there. I, I gotta get. I could talk to the pastor about maybe blinking neon lights on that. Maybe it's a big foam rubber cushion on it. <laughs> on my head. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's a problem when you're what six four six two six two. Yeah. And I, not I used to be five eleven. <laughs> Last time I went to a physical, she said, "I'll I'll tell you." I said, five eleven. She's no, you're not. <laughs> she says, "She's your five ten now." She said, "She said you do shrink. You know it's that." It's satellite. It does actually. You can lose up to two inches. Yeah. Well, I have got a question right off the bat for you and I All right. to deal with. <clears throat> now, we both watch live PD. Yes, we do. On Friday night and Saturday nights. Yep. Nine to, yeah. nine to midnight. Nine to midnight on 837. A&E. &E. &E. Yep. Well, you ever watch it, start watching it. You'll get hooked on it. Yeah, you, know, you will. And you really appreciate what police officers mm -hmm. go through. Um, and you also appreciate how many stupid people are well, out there. It's, it's, it's incredible. You, you will, if you haven't watched this thing, folks, you will not believe the dumb a-holes out there. As, as what that guy, Stick Larson, yeah. uh, he says, well, we don't catch the smart ones. <laughs> I mean, they, they're well, some of the dumbest guys. And what amazes you is... Another thing, too, all you folks that, you know, oh, boy, let's get marijuana stores every place. Well, you take a look at these people, these people that are creating, uh, are committing crimes under the influence of drugs, marijuana, cocaine, alcohol, uh, crystal meth is a crystal beauty. Crystal meth is the one that's really getting to be bad. Uh, and you'll be amazed at what? human beings are doing to themselves with this stuff. So, I have a question. Yep. So, the cops always uh, uh, stop a car and they walk up, and, hi, I'm Officer Crane from the Sheriff's Office. Um, do you know why I stopped you? No, you, did, oh, you made an illegal right turn and you didn't use your signal. Uh, oh. Do you have your license and registration? And while they're fishing for it, they usually say things like, now where are you going? Mm -hmm. Where have you been? Now, Dwayne, you know I support law and order and yep. police just I, like I you I know do. where you're going with this. All the way. Would you tell me what right a police officer has when he stops you for a traffic stop? To okay. ask oh. you where you're yep. going or where you've been. Damn it, this isn't communist Czechoslovakia. I agree with you 100%. I, I've, asked, I've asked that before. Yep. Um, they do it. I know they do. I know. My secretary, when I used to work at the company down there, was a sales manager. A, uh, she was uh, all about four foot two and a fireball. And you didn't push her push her buttons at all because she could she come right back at you and she and her husband were coming home one night and going down sharing someplace here and they went into one of them sobriety things oh of the roadblocks yeah yeah so the the, the state he says uh, you know where you uh, where are you coming from where you, what what were you doing where are you coming from she says that's none of your business. And he goes, what? And like, he did, wasn't ever mm. not used to anybody say mm. anything to him. She says, that's none of your damn business where I came from. She says, you can, you're stopping me now to see if I've been drinking, which I haven't been. But we'll talk about that. But 
I'm not telling you where I came from. And they got into a big tussle. And finally, he says to her husband, or to her, or to her husband, he says, if you don't get her to shut up, he says, I can give you a test that you can't pass. And so his, his, her husband's going, keep your motion, let's get out of here. But that's the same thing, you know. It's, yeah. He had no right to want to know where they came from. That's none of his business. I was in the back seat of a car being taken out to lunch by one of my vendors. I was right looking over his shoulder. Dick was one of the slowest drivers I've ever ridden with. Mm -hmm. 47 miles an hour on 95, stopped by a state trooper. He opened the door and the cop screamed at him, get back in that effing car yep. or I'll throw your ass in jail. Oh yeah. Screaming at him. Dick said, why am I being stopped officer? He says, you'll find out when you get the ticket. And he had written 68 in a 40, in a, six, in a 55 mile an hour zone. Oh, they, some of these I guys was were... looking at the speedometer, 47 mm -hmm. miles an hour. Yep. Now, the, uh, one of my passengers with me was married to um, a very well connected politically um, and she said, just shut up, Bill. Don't say another word. I'll yep. take care of this. And the ticket was torn up that afternoon. Um, but, I mean, you know, these they, they give them a badge and a gun. Mm -hmm. and that does not give them the rights to trample on your constitutional rights. So they'll ask the questions, they'll, where are you coming from? Well, you live over there. You said you were going home. Why are you driving down this road? The guy gets a third degree. Yeah. He doesn't have to answer that. They, oh, I think part of it is to see if you are confused or yeah. if you begin to fabricate a lie. It, when they know you've been to a crack house. That's exactly what it, that yeah. they're usually looking for but there. That does not mean they can infringe on mm. your constitutional rights because they think that you bought drugs. Find out about it legally. Another one, uh, this is not serious, but they'll say, well, I stopped you because you didn't use your signal light 100, 100 feet before the yeah. turn. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh my God, can you imagine in New England or in that Massachusetts? Rare indeed is a, a turn signal use. You never use a turn 95 signal. 95 or 495. Do you see people using turn signals when they change lanes? No. You know what? I do. I do too. Yeah. Uh, because you know what? I Way back when somebody really smart said to me, drive like the truck drivers do. Yeah. And follow them. Don't go faster than them. Yep. But they know what the oh, speed yeah. limit, yep. the unofficial speed limit right. is. And they always put their turn signals on when they are making lane changes. And I just got in the habit of doing yeah. that too. But around here, they don't use turn. Them. The, the, no, no, it was a choom. Yeah. What is that stick on the side of my uh, driver's? You can uh, buy a 10 year old car here and have brand new turn signals on them. <laughs> They've never been on. <laughs> All right. Uh, very, a very prescient man. Uh, Senator Richard Russell of Georgia, yep, uh, very conservative and very, very articulate uh, and very successful senator, long term, and a big friend of Lyndon Baines Johnson. Yes, I think they were. And uh, he was on Meet the Press, and they were asking him about, well, you know, different things, trends in the country. And he said, well, he says, I think you'll find that we will evolve in this country to a system of two political parties, but they will be um, renamed and sort of reconstituted. We'll have a conservative party and we'll have a radical party. Okay. <laughs> Did Richard Russell know what he was talking about? I mean, he was about 40 years ahead, ahead of his time. Of his time. But this is what it's, I think is happening. It's pretty much evolving into that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the moderate. Well, I, I just wrote here one of the subjects. Yeah. Uh, new con congressional. 
Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. The, the new group that's coming oh, in are yeah. just wackos. Yeah. Um, I, and this is just, uh, well, it, it's ridiculous. Um, and I have, uh, by the way, um, maybe this would be a good time for this. I'll move this ahead. I wrote about Nancy Pelosi. Mm -hmm. Now, she's attempting to work with this fractious group yep. on the left. Well, it's got so far out of control, it even embarrasses her. Yeah. So what, what she was uh, had quite a talk the other day. So I um, said to myself, well, I'll translate this so that everybody mm -hmm. can understand it. So here's what Nancy said. These are my words, but this is what she said. We need the steak eating, beer drinking, football watching, and NASCAR fans the hard-working blue-collar guys and the farmers of this land who feed us, and hunters and fishermen, God-fearing, God-loving Americans to bring their families... Oh, good. I lost the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> that bring their families to church every Sunday. Honest folks who trade a day's work for a day's pay. And if you airheads, children, layabouts, and professional students can't understand that our divided Democratic Party will collapse in a heap because no house so divided can stand, then we deserve to lose the next election and become another asterisk in the history of our land. You, you could put that credit to that message to a lot of different people. Yeah. A lot of conservatives, a lot yeah. of Republicans could have said that. She actually made sense. Yeah. You think yeah. that, well, no. there's maybe hope for her after all. Yeah. Uh, no, because uh, I'm reading all between the yeah, lines. I know. Okay. But you know what still, she was telling these there. people. Yep. Get back in your cages. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got something else here. <laughs> I've decided to join the Green Agenda. Okay. Not the Green New Deal, are the, the, you? Yep. The okay. New Green Deal. Yeah. And so I've written a letter. That's my part of helping them out. And it is to Dear Mr. King Moose, Jackman, Maine. As part of my New Green Agenda, effective July 1st, 2019, all the moose in your kingdom... Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont are ordered to stop farting. Thank you for your cooperation <laughs> in this life or death matter. Uh, my life or your death. Lovingly yours, uh, Billy. And I've copied AOC, Ed Markey, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, Ayala Presley, and all the other loody losers in the Democratic Party. Yeah. Well, so I've done my part. That's one of the key ingredients to the uh, global warming is yeah. animal flatulence. That's it. Yeah. So I guess I know a couple of people who probably could be involved in well, that too, <laughs> especially after a few beers. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but. You know, uh, we talk about moose. Well, but they're talking about cows. Oh, but yeah. But moose. Moose, they're bigger. Yeah. Oh, my and, God. And deer also have Ooh. the same dietary um, makeup. Uh, uh, you got elk out in western uh, U.S. Um, cheap as cream. So we're going to have to put diapers on them all. Or else start putting Beano stations out there. <laughs> Feed them Beano. <laughs> we could try that, too. <laughs> By the way. I was um, contemplating your hometown of Duran. Durand. Durand. I'm get sorry. Get that right. I got to get this right. Durand. No. There you go. Uh, 30 miles from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. You got it. Cool. And that's the same area that provided us with great Americans like Ed Gein and Jeffrey Dahmer. Well... Not right there, but in that, in that state. Yeah, within a couple hundred miles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's been some really real characters coming out of there. Uh, I think it's the isolation. I think so, too. Short winter days. Yep. 
It's cold, oh, isolated. The, the long nights. Yep. And it's, by the way, being a farmer and living off the that's a hard life. But you know what? I've never met a farmer that didn't enjoy farming. Didn't I uh, no, I, let me take that back. That didn't love farming. Oh yeah, and they did, just wouldn't give it up for right. anything. And no matter how they're, they're losing a shirt and they still stay there till the last yep. penny's gone. Yep. 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 Uh, in fact, I knew the president of a company, the owner of a company. In fact, I'll even tell you who it was. It was Cash Go Valves um, in Kansas. And um, he had a nice little company going. And you know, he told me one day or one night uh, that he would really like to hire a, a, a general manager so that he could spend more time farming, getting on the back of that tractor. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't wait to retire. And, and, and by the way, very smart guy, too. Uh, he was buying up land. When yeah. Oh, yeah. It was $500 an acre. Yeah, he's worth, worth some bucks today, then. Oh, he just kept on buying it. I remember two hundred. I hell, I remember hundred dollars yeah. an acre out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I was talking to him, he was very proud of the fact that he had bought uh, a section for uh, I think either four or five hundred dollars. The whole six hundred forty acres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that 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 uh, farming to stay with it. Now, what? I not too long ago was asking some of friends and relatives back there about. Because prices are in a hopper again, really in a crapper. And uh, <clears throat> Monica's brother-in-law, his son, just sold the dairy herd. Just up and that's it. You can't at, uh, I don't know what the price was. I want to say $11 a hundred for milk. But uh, anyway, it wasn't even a break-even point anymore. So <clears throat> then he went to teaching. He went to high school, the local high school, and he's teaching agriculture. And mm -hmm. So he says, well, you know, I don't have to get up at 4.30 in the morning, and I work all day, and I have to do it at night, twice a day, every day, seven days a week. And he said, it's just not worth it anymore. But he, he, he had some trepidations about quitting that and doing I, that. I, I, well, I, yeah, and you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. The farmers that I have talked to in my lifetime love and respect the animals. Yeah. Well, it's your, it's your livelihood. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this guy, uh, I, one guy I was talking to, uh, he had names for all his cows. <laughs> uh, That'd get a little difficult today with some people who got 3,000 of them. <laughs> but you know what else? Because um, I was asking to about, no, no, not him, but somebody else. Do you know your, what you, if you're making money or losing money? He says, no. At the you end really, of the year. Yeah, at the end of the year we do. Because I said, uh, he said something about soybeans. It was done at $9.80 a bushel, I believe, at that time, or 908. I said, what's your break even point? He says, I suspect around $11 a bushel. He said, I'd be better off not putting in 500 acres or 1,000 yeah. acres of yeah. soybeans and just save the money. But he said, I'll do it. Next yeah. year I'll do it again. He yeah. says, you know. So. Yeah. D uh, did you also notice the floods? Um, this week uh, in the Midwest, mm -hmm. there was a thing on TV that said the, um, the estimate in Nebraska is they have lost a million uh, calves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw that. A million calves. Yep. Now, uh, I, I'm no whiz, but it seems to me that that was going to uh, move the price of beef up eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Cattle right now are... I think feeder cattle. Oh, I looked at it the other day, and I think it was about a dollar. Well, they go by a hundred weight. Yeah. But it break it down to a pound, about a dollar twenty cents a pound. Now, if you go to the supermarket, you know, hamburgers four dollars a pound. Yep. That's just garbage. Yep. Uh, another one is, is pigs, hogs. They call them hogs. In the market, yeah. yeah. They're like fifty six cents. Yeah. Per pound, you know, but like, yeah. you can't buy fifty six dollars a hundred weight. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, how can you feed? A you hog? can't. You, you can't. cannot raise a pig. No, you can't do it. And get fifty six cents a pound for it. Yep. And yet, they're continuing to do it. Yep. Now, there's government subsidies, and they keep these people alive. 
Yeah, it used it's to got, be a lot better. Yeah, You're right. Uh, they had a lot of uh, soil banks where you could, they would literally, they'd pay you to not put not crops to, in, not to, not to till yeah. it. But you couldn't touch it. You couldn't do, you had to put a cover crop. Yeah. And that's just for erosion, but you couldn't, you couldn't use it for anything. The deer loved it because they usually put timothy or oats Clo or clover or something. Yeah, or some clover yeah. in it. Yeah. Oh, the deer, deer hards just went crazy yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that, that helped matters out during hunting season. Oh, it sure does. You knew where to get a couple of deer. Um, by the way, a sign of the times. Beto O'Rourke has joined the presidential race. And you know what he did at a press conference? Apologized for his benefiting from white privilege. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, wait, you... What? You gotta be kidding me! He's How about all the guys during World War II that died because of white privilege and are buried in that's right. France? That's right. But and in Belgium. Yep. I mean, give me a break. That's pandering to something called white guilt. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, and well, uh, our I should say. I, I should say, our esteemed U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren. Oh, my God. Wants to pay reparations to the families that had slaves in their background. I, I agree. I think we should. Any slave out there, come on in. Sign, sign up. a paper and we'll... We did it with the Japanese for the reparations. That's what right. they're using as a basis. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Japanese that went to the internment camps. Yeah. But you, it was only to the people that went to the internment camps. If you have reparations for slavery today, let's just say we did. Yeah. And we gave every family of... Every descendant. Every descendant of, of a slave today. $10,000 yeah. or $40,000 or whatever. Maybe just a, a gold pen. It doesn't matter what yeah. it is. Right. If we did that, the next generation is going to say, where's mine? Oh, absolutely. Grandpa got it. Why didn't I get absolutely. it? I'm the next generation. Then the next generation says, where's mine? It never ends. You kind of go on bingo, forever bingo, and ever bingo. and ever. I know. So that's what I said. Former slaves, come on in. Yeah. Um, by the way, in a CNN poll, and we know CNN is... Uh, oh, of course. On the left, mm -hmm. pandas to the left. In a CNN poll, how what percentage of American adults that they polled feel good about the economy? CNN? Mm-hmm. 60%. 71. 71. Yeah. So that means we're do the economy... Is very strong. Oh, look at the yeah. unemployment rates practically zero. Yeah. You know, when yeah. you get down to three, three to four, oh, three yeah. to four and a half, that literally is zero because that's the group that aren't looking, don't want a job they, or they can't have a job. Chronically unemployed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And for various reasons. Sure. Some of them are some saying, valid and some not. Hey, right. Yeah. Some of them have inherited. Mm -hmm. Money from their family, don't and have just decided that I'm not going to work. So I just don't want to work. I have a trust, mm -hmm. and the trust gives me two hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. I mean, why the hell should I work? I, and you know what? If I were in their position, well, I would agree. Oh, oh, oh boy, same way. Um, here's another thing that's bothering me just a tad. We might as well pick at this scab. Sure, go ahead. Moment. Rather than dithering about Bob Kraft and ridding themselves of his filthy money, why doesn't this ba band of hypocrites, uh, the uh, senators and the reps that uh, want to send his money back to him, that took his contributions? Mid Senator Markey. Yeah. The, 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 A.K.A. Malarkey. The biggest fraud in uh, the world. $3,600, uh, folks. Yeah. Somehow it's tainted money now. He cannot possibly have it. So he's going to give it away. Yep. Well, if you really thought that way, why the hell didn't you just give it away and shut up? That's right. You're getting 
what, forty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars worth of publicity out of it. Oh yeah. You're exploiting this whole situation. Yep. You're just as bad as everybody else. Yep. Why doesn't this band of hypocrites do something useful and launch an all out attack on robocalls? Certainly something can be done to curtail the agony that threatens us all. Really. Now, these enemies of the public are appalled to be found holding on to Kraft's contribution to them. And you know what? If there was a man amongst them, or a lady amongst them, yeah. that is really and truly upset by this, write a check to St. Jude's Hospital. That's right. And do it anonymously do it and anonymously. send them the money. Don't get a lot of benefit from this because you're exploiting. You're, you're using that for your own use. Absolutely. And he, I, I bet he's got $100,000 worth of publicity. Oh, the Globe had it in the paper. It's been in the... Easily. Easily. Yep. And it was on Channel 4, Channel 5, yep. Channel 7. I mean, come on. Um, by the way, um, I, I got a couple of more things here that continue to bug me. Would you explain to me? You, you, we're sort of rationalizing all this now. And kind of, well, let's not get too deep into this. But what were the parents of the kids thinking that sent them to Michael Jackson's Neverland and overnights with Michael? Mm. Money. Money is right. The heck with their kids. Yep. And they talk about pimps sending girls out to That's hook. That's right. This was give me that. That that is deplorable. Really, it really what parent it is. does not realize or even suspect that something's going on yeah. here? And, and the mother one time, I, did you see the the? It was on HBO, yeah. but they had parts yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, she said, "Well, when when we travel, the rooms would be that my my son would be staying with Michael." And then my room used to be next door, and then it got further away and further away, and pretty soon they weren't even on the same floor. And then one time I went back, or a couple times, and I found the door locked. But I just went back to my room. Oh, well, there you are. I didn't think anything no, of it. Oh, Michael's so wonderful to It's the so children. wonderful to do he this because I get children. all the fame and the, the perks and are coming the money. in. Yep. And money. And yeah. Jeez, I'm telling Christ. you. Right. Now I get another one for you. Sometimes my head hurts when I read the globe. <laughs> That's what you got. <laughs> it's, it's bursting up yeah. here. Um, I banged my head, folks. Um, I've only I've only hit that object uh, forty times with my head. Uh, I'm gonna start wearing a football helmet. Um, so <laughs> the globe has an advice column now. Which one? I don't know. Amy? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> My wife reads that. She'll, she'll say, don't throw the paper away. Just, I didn't see Amy today. Well, this was in the column. And it was a woman, and she was very upset. She was um, um, on the horns of a dilemma. Yeah. Or on the horns of an enema, as yeah. <laughs> they used to say, on <laughs> married with children. Uh um, and it's this. There's so many people now that when she uses the MBTA <laughs> and they want to say, let me jump behind you and go quickly through so yeah. I can ride through on Piggy you. Piggybacking. Yeah. Yeah. And she said, I know that's cheating and I can't live with myself over this, but I'm afraid to say anything because these are rough people. What should I do? Uh, and the foolish advice was, well, you gotta follow your conscience or some crap. The, I mean, the, the advice I would give is don't pay any attention to them. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to them, nothing. If they slide in behind you, forget about it. How's it gonna change your world one bit? No, you're just gonna get hurt. That's right. That's exactly yep. right. You're going to get hurt. And if the MBTA, for example, and other organizations, if they start losing, they, they know they're losing millions oh, now. Oh, of course they are. 
and, and the, the funds are drying up. They can't get appropriations. They get all kinds of grief about raising the fear. Well, then do something about They've it. They've got MBTA policemen. That's right. Put them at the turnstiles. Mm -hmm. If they are concerned about people doing this. Well, the, it's, it's not only just that. It's well, you, people, God almighty, the surface trolleys, yeah. people get in the back door. They oh, yeah. never, they're never. they supposed to go up to the front and tell, pay their fare. They don't. Don't? No, of course they don't. Hell, and not the, only that, no but, college kids does. In the morning, on a, uh, one of the uh, uh, trains to Boston, mm -hmm. one that's packed. Yep. Sometimes you see people sit and then move. Yep. After the next stop, they're going to the car the conductor's already, already gone been through. through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ah, whatever. Um, so uh, another poll, and I didn't catch the pollster. Okay, I did write it down. What are your views on socialism? Now, there's some shifting sea of sand in this poll because it was some other people that answered it differently, mm -hmm. but. 18% um, said they were positive about socialism, 50% negative. And then you had the uh, people that answers, yes, but, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. but still, I mean, that's a, a three to one, uh, that's a, yeah, a three to one margin. Mm -hmm. um, that's interesting. Um, all right, I'm Michael Jackson. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so the latest, and I think it's a Marist poll, agree, disagree, uh, approve, disapprove of Donald Trump as president, 46% approve, 52% disapprove. Oh boy, oh boy, trouble on the horizon for Donald Trump, except in the third year of the Obama administration and the Clinton administration, mm -hmm. Their numbers were the same. Yeah. Everyone expects big things. Everyone has their share of disappointments. Absolutely. Things never move as quickly as people want them to. Yep. So the bloom is often off the rose. But I'll tell you what, the accomplishments of uh, this administration, someday we'll have to sit down and list them. But they are uh, pretty interesting. Uh, the latest uh, Democratic, uh, and of course, this is silly. It's a poll up in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. But Sanders, 26, Biden, 22, Harris, Kamala Harris, oh 10, Elizabeth Warren, 7, and Beta O'Rourke, 5. Yeah. Um, now, I'm surprised that Sanders is ahead of Biden, but he's been yeah, up I am, there Well, before. I am too, but yeah. you know, it depends on where they took the poll. Yeah, of course. And these things are probably yeah. about as scientific as you and I sitting here guessing. Um, but we, we get a skewed view of these people because our view comes from the Globe, Channel 4, uh, different, however it's filtered out. Uh Public radio. We, public radio. I mean, they got Elizabeth Warren as just the next savior coming. But Elizabeth Warren and the rest of the country is considered a joke. They think she is a joke. Yeah, and she's finding it out much to her chagrin. Yeah. Uh, she's not attracting big crowds. She's doing this tour of the South. Well, yeah, and she, uh, this, you she know. panders so bad. Oh, she goes to this group and she panders to them. And then she goes to this group and she panders to them blatantly. She's down South yeah, oh trying yeah. to sell reparations. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Give me a break. Yeah. That's like going to kids and saying, anybody want any free candy? Yeah, oh, kids, what do you oh, think? Oh, huh? cluster around. Should we yeah. have free candy? Yeah. Good Lord. Um, by the way, one of the uh, AOC, oh, uh, that of all the ridiculous. Looney Tune too. Yeah, Alexandria uh, Ocasio-Cortez said, and this is a beautiful thing, that they have not put this in the papers, but they got a sound bite. ICE forcibly injects youths 
with psycho drugs. I think she got some of them. Boy, she got a double load. Let that, me that, tell that, you. That group, and you could add that Omar onto it, the one from Minnesota. Oh, she's the a Muslim. Listen, you know, it's an interesting wow. thing. Um, uh, you, you almost cannot be a card carrying Muslim if you don't hate Israel. Yep. Because it's inherent. Yeah, it's part of the a part of their uh, the, their um, psychic and makeup. Yep, and if you're not, well, you're just a you're not a Muslim. If somebody else did the same things or said the same things and does the same things that she did, just changed the subject, that they'd have been out of there. They would have never. First of all, they'd never been elected. Second of all, if they got elected, they'd have been thrown out and or the, locked up in a psycho ward. But the, that left-leaning group that's in there are so afraid of saying anything to censor her. But the best they can do is just shut their mouth and look the other way. Well, that's, that's not right. Look at the, um, the, the uh, Muslim lady uh, from Michigan or Minnesota, uh, whatever she's from. Yeah, Rupp. I mean, they went out of their way not to censure her. Yeah, well, that might be Omar. She's yeah, from, Omar. She's yeah. yeah, from Minnesota. That's yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah. She, she, and she just runs her mouth. I mean, she just, just there's no filter on her. Nope. nope. There's no filter on a lot of these. Oh, I, you know um, what? That benefits us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let them rattle away. Yeah, because, it's splitting that Democratic yeah. Party up so many ways yeah. now. Yeah. Nine ways to Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Um, how about this? Um. Many doctors have warned against low-carb diets. According to the American College of Cardiology, scientists from health institutions in China recently conducted a study to determine the relationship between carbohydrate intake and AFib, the most common heart rhythm disorder. And they said there is a connection between low-carb diet and AFib. Okay. And uh, they, uh, they're they especially they're looking at the long-term effect. Um, but it's an interesting thing. Uh, I wish I understood more about it, but uh, it's... If you eliminate carbs from your diet, folks... There may be a link. No, you, sh you really shouldn't be eliminating anything out of your diet. You know what? Moderation. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I see eggs are bad now again. <laughs> They're in here someplace. Golly. Oh, you know Just what? Just went out and bought two dozen eggs. I, was just, I like to boil up a dozen eggs. And then for breakfast, I'll have a, a bowl of oatmeal or, or cream of wheat and a hard-boiled egg with it. So now, you know, I think, well, nah, I'm still, still going to eat them because... You know what I like? My, my my favorite sandwich, my favorite sub, egg salad. Egg salad. I like egg yep. salad, too. Egg salad with but celery and onions. First, if you don't put celery and onions in it, don't give it to me. First eggs were bad, then they were good, then they're bad, and then they're good, and now they're bad again. So. It goes in cycles. Um, now... Here's an interesting, th oh, okay, some more tips on good living coming up. Uh, more Americans are paying their mortgages on time. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is a sign the economy is in That's good right. shape. That's right, that is. Um, it said that uh, more people who have their mortgages through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are the best performers. Roughly 97% of them are paying on time. Borrowers using FHA insured mortgages pay late. 90, uh, they pay ninety one percent are on time. That's a big difference between yeah. ninety seven and ninety one. I, I think some of them, the good marks or the good sh figures are showing up because they clean that mortgage market up. Yeah. After they had so many bad underwater mortgages, they were issuing. Sure, and the FHA has got some of that five percent mm -hmm. financing. Yeah. Uh, in that that lets in. Um, uh, folks that uh, have lower income. The marginal. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. marginal people. So you expect that to happen. 
Uh, but this is still a lot better than uh, it used to be. Uh, so uh, actually, the 91% figures out to 8.65% of the people are late. Uh, a decade ago, it was 14%. Mm -hmm. So you can see the economy is doing well. Um, now, the only thing that's turned down now, on that, or the, the uh, flip side, is I read that the car payments are slipping behind. You know, you're absolutely right. Um, and I've I, I had so I cut something out about that. Okay. And and um, I, I remember that I had written down that um, a lot of these are first time buyers. Uh, young people. Yep. And That's a good they don't budget properly. Yep. They don't understand the importance of making their payments on time. That's right. Uh, and they use their disposable income uh, for partying or paying off college it's loans. That's exactly right. Yep. And they're just not responsible. I uh, I saw that. I did that experience with that firsthand. Um, well, he's, my son is 40. Forty six now. I got one of those. I don't know. He was, he just graduated from UMass. He was a microbiologist, and he was getting his. He was already employed doing his first job in a lab in Boston. And he was. We wouldn't let him have a car in college. So mm -hmm. Now we, we're going out. And he said, "Would you go with me to get a, buy a car?" I said, "Okay." And we started doing the first thing. Every place we went, he'd go up to the GTs and the the big. Fancy the hot thing with the five speed and the huge motor and the big wheels and the Christ. I said, Greg, no. We're going over here and look at the sedan. Well, I don't want that. I said, Well, you can't afford that. Well, I sure can. I'm working now. I got a job. I just graduated <laughs> from college. So we went home and Monica and I sat down with him and we cheated. I honest well, God, we cheated. I said, Okay, we're gonna she said, we're gonna lay out a budget. Here's your income, here's your outlay. So we kind of padded the outlay to look at all of a sudden he says, I don't have anything left. Well, how are you gonna no, pay your taxes? No kidding. Yeah. I said, that's what we said we've been trying to tell you. You cannot go out and go crazy like this. And then he, he said, well, I don't know why I went to college and graduated from college if I can't have the car I want. I said, it's, Craig, it's today. This is your first new car. If you say in that 10 years down the road, I will have some sympathy for you. Five years down the road, probably. Next year, maybe not yet. Yeah. But you got to get on your feet first before you jump into these kind of expenses. But Absolutely. they don't, these young people do not see that. No, I don't. I they want, don't. I want, and I'm going to get. Do you know my first job at the Foxborough Company was such an education on so many different levels. Yep. And I met so many wonderful people there. Uh, I treasure um, so the memories of so many of those people. And I remember talking to a gentleman that was on the Board of Selectmen in the town of Foxborough. And he worked at the Foxborough Company, and he was an inspector. Yep. His name was Horace <coughs> Cornish. And Horace was um, just everybody's grandfather. Nice guy. Mm -hmm. And he told me something one day. He said to me, we were just talking, and I was just a bumpkin. I would deliver parcels to him and pick up work that he had completed and had put a tag on it, and I'd take it to another department. I was a small parcel trucker. That was, it was a great job. It was fun. It was like delivering mail. And uh, so we're talking one day, and um, Horace said to me, Bill, how much money do you save every week? I said, Good um, question. Not anything, Horace. He said, you're making a mistake, my friend. He said, pay yourself first. Yep. He said, if you could only afford $5, and I was making $1.35 an hour, um, but if you could only afford $5, take it to the bank and put it in mm -hmm. every single week. Yeah. And then spend the rest of your money yeah. on what have you or what you need to spend it on. That was great advice. 
wish to hell I had lived by it. Yeah, don't we both? <laughs> um, by the way, folks, public service announcement. Uh, Bob Weber uh, writes an article for uh, the Herald each Sunday called Car Smart. And uh, he throws in some advice from time to time. Um, and this guy was uh, wrote in about uh, oil consumption in his uh, new car. Or, no, it's a, a no. I'm sorry, oil consumption in an existing car. And as an aside, after he answered the question, he said, "By the way, some engines do better than others, of course." Keep in mind that some oil must be consumed during normal operations. By the way, if a dealer demands that you use only a Subaru filter, the dealer must provide it for free. Oh, really? According to federal law. Otherwise, you are, if they say your warranty mm -hmm. will be void if you don't oh, yeah. okay. use a Subaru yeah. oil filter, then you, uh, if they don't give it to you for free, then you are free to choose the filter of your choice. And he said, too many people don't know this. Mm -hmm. They just go in and say, oh, uh, well, all right, I'll, I'll put that Toyota filter in. I don't want to do anything wrong. And oh, of yeah, course, I it's priced about twice the same as a Fram filter or something else. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I came of that, well, I think we mentioned it here one time, but I had to change, I had to change air filter and oh, yeah. cabin filter, engine yeah. air and cabin. And the dealer was, I went to Sullivan Tire. I knew, I, I changed them for a half price there or less. And they were, they weren't. Unknown filters. They were sure. fram yeah, type. Probably of, made by the same damn yeah, people. Oh yeah. that the other people. Top, had. Top, yeah. made, they were aftermarket, but yeah. they were the big name for filters. Sure. And uh, it's just the dealer's going to get what the dealer can get. That's right. Yeah, that's what it is. So. so be aware, folks. If you have a new car and you bring it in for service, and they say you got to replace air filter, cabin filter, oil filter with our product. They've got to give it to you for free according to federal law. And don't be afraid to push back on them mm -hmm. either. Um, <clears throat> well, this is an interesting little article that ought to get your blood rolling. What might that be? Um, man is held on drug and gun charges. Uh, suspect arrested for the third time. Uh, and he's arrested uh, with uh, 850 bags of heroin and a loaded handgun. Great combination. Mm-hmm. Um, estimated uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so anyway, he's charged with possession of a firearm during commission of a felony, possession of a firearm during commission of a felony with defaced serial number, Possession of a firearm and ammunition without proper licensing. He was also charged with multiple drug offenses. He was also found guilty in 2015 for the same charges. And he was arrested in November on heroin and gun charges. Uh, and uh, that case is still pending. So he's been in the lockup. Arrested again, and now arrested a third time. Yeah, well, when is he going in to stay? Nope, he will not. Now it, that hurts my feelings. It does mine too. You know, we we just do not have a, a we do not have any appetite for punishment in this state. That's right. And we're not the only state, but we are one of the big offenders. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, our dream world is. You, uh, you and I are the justices on the court, <laughs> and uh, people come in, and yep. here he comes now, all the gun charges, all the heroin charges, and we say, hold out your hand. Yep. Bang. Bang. Two slaps on your hand. You promise not now to do it again. Now go and don't 
do any more bad things. Yep. Yeah. That's what we do. That's it. Yep. Exactly. And by the way, these guys are arrested. The judges always are having possession of a pistol or a rifle or a weapon without a proper license. You don't see people with the proper no. license oh, no. being arrested for this. And that's what drives me crazy yep. is these people say, look, you're going to bust the NRA. They're bad. They, 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 they want guns and blah, blah, blah. They want guns in the hands of proper people that are trained and licensed. And nine, last figures I saw, 99.6% mm -hmm. of NRA members have never been arrested oh, yeah, and that, charged with a crime. That, that doesn't surprise me. No. No, they're, they're so, generally they're law-abiding yeah. citizens. Folks, you got to say who is the enemy? Who are the bad guys? The guys that have got guns with the serial numbers ground off and are using it in the commission of a crime. That's right. NRA Every members? No. Every We're time, not the bad guys. That's right. Every time you do something, you're punishing the people you shouldn't that's be punishing. Right. That's right. And oh, the, let's put restrictions on the NRA. Why? Why? We're Laura Biden citizens, and we have a right to carry under the Second Amendment of the Constitution. But these bums that do this over and over and over, carrying illegal weapons and committing crimes, walk. And they just, Unpunished. They, they laugh at authorities yeah. because what are you going to do? Uh, you won't do anything. Uh, one more thing, and we're going to have to call it a show. Pretty soon. Uh, I, I, I'm not a f big tax raiser. I'm not in favor of raising taxes. I'm not either, but there's one I think we got to look at. Uh, that's right. And I, 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 if you come into the same one I'm coming to, the gas tax? Absolutely. Yeah. If you're driving on the road and you are using the highway systems and the roads need upkeep, Yep. The gas tax, it seems to me, is the fairest and most equitable way of right, handling it. Right now it is. If, uh, uh, if someone doesn't have a car, uh, well, gee whiz, they're not using the car to wear out the highway. But they're getting the benefit of the transportation That's system. Right. They might be riding the bus yeah. where the bus is on the street. Right. But, but the buses are paying for sure. our road taxes, too. Now, another thing here. We are penny-wise and dollar-foolish oh, with this absolutely. gas yeah. tax. The gas goes up and down by, what, 20 cents in a month. It can jump for 5 cents or 7 cents a week. You don't know what's going on with the gas tax. A few cents of gas tax would fix up our roads. Now, we're penny-wise and dollar-foolish. Every time you go in to get service and a guy comes out and says, you need a wheel alignment, that's because you hit a damn potholes. And it, the potholes in these kind of roads are accumulative wear on your car. They're, they're ball they joints, they're yeah. your shocks, your, even your tie axles, rods. Every, yeah. tie rods, yeah. everything. That, that's an accumulative banging all the time and you're wearing out your car, you're destroying your property. And you go in and you say, well, I just had to spend $300 on the front end of my car. Why? Yeah, why? Because the damn roads are That's so right. bu busted yeah, up. Sure. But but the same person will say, three cents a gallon more for gas? Oh, my God, no. I know. But yet it'd go up 10 cents, 15 cents next week, and they don't think anything, or it drops down. Now, do you think the legislature is doing this because this is an effective way to uh, help fix up the roads? They are talking about this because they are going to index it to inflation. Yep. And it will automatically go up. Yeah. All right? And they don't 
half to vote on it. That's right. Take That's the right. responsibility there out is of it. No backbone in any of these guys. Yep. And that's why they want this even, gas tax scheme to be indexed to inflection. Inf even our local reps are so afraid, and I'm talking about the guy, our reps, they're so afraid to step up and say, yes, we got to fix these roads. They're so afraid of being taxed or blamed for two, three cents a gallon tax on it that they take the wissy way out. I don't think we should do it. Uh. I know. But here's the thing. Take the indexing out of this yeah, and vote it. on it once a year, yeah. and I'm all for it. Me too. All right? Yeah. I think this is the right way to go. And by the way, I don't have any problem with tolls on the mass turnpike. I don't either. Well, that's an expensive road. It's a long hunk of asphalt. It requires a lot of work, and it's got to be paid for. It was and built if you're using the bloody thing, mm -hmm. help pay for it. That's right. And now with that, the gas tax is so much less than it used to be. Of course. Because cars today get 30, 35 miles to the gallon. That's another They used thing. to get 20, 15. That's right. But now they're almost doubling what they used to get. So they're pulling in only half as the much revenue. as they were. That's right. Well, be and, a man about it. And today, with the advent of the electric cars, they're Bingo. not paying anything. That's right. Hey, a uh, Prius, a Toyota Prius, 56 miles to the gallon? Yeah. yeah. When before, my old Pontiac Catalina used to get 12. <laughs> yeah. I know. And you uh, get Tesla, the things like the Teslas out there. Yeah. They don't use any gas. Yeah, but you got to pay 50 or 60 or 70 or 80,000 bucks right. for one of those things, you know? So it's, that's a false economy, too. Oh, there's no question uh, about that. There's no, but, no payback you know, yet. Uh, a new. Toyota Camry gets 40 miles to the yep. gallon highway. That's yeah, right. That's the EPA. And usually those things are pretty darn mm -hmm. close to, if you drive them sanely, yep. pretty damn close to being right. Well, folks, uh, we got the uh, word from uh, headquarters uh, uh, out front that uh, our time has expired for this edition of the Bill Crane Report. So we'll hope to see you next time. And happy spring. Yes, that's right. It that's was yesterday. Right. Happy springtime. And we'll catch you next time. Stay safe.